This educational video is prepared for promoting active learning of crystallography engineering. So what is XRD? X-ray diffraction analysis also called XRD is a technique used in materials science to determine the crystallography structure of materials. XRD works by irradiating a material with incident X-rays and then measuring the intensities and scattering angles of the X-rays that leave the materials. What is Bragg's law? Bragg's law is a special case of Lauer diffraction, which determines the angles of coherent and incoherent scattering from a crystal lattice. It can be represented with the formula n lambda equals 2d sin theta. This is an example of D8 X-ray diffractometer. It mainly consists of three components which are the X-ray tube, sample holder and the detector. How does X-ray diffractometer work? XRD works by irradiating a material with incident X-rays and then measuring the intensities and scattering angles of the X-rays that leave the material. The detector move around the sample in a circle and is positioned at the angle of 2 theta, thus it will record the number of X-ray observed at angle of 2 theta. The X-ray intensity usually recorded as counts, or, counts per second. Next, how does crystal structure affect X-ray diffraction pattern? This is an example of a X-ray diffraction pattern. Compound with the same element but different crystal structure will result in diffraction pattern. For instance we have quartz and cristobalite as an example. Quartz and cristobalite are in different phases of silicon dioxide. In terms of chemical identity, they are identical but the atoms in them are arranged differently. Thus resulting in different diffraction pattern. Meanwhile in amorphous glass, the diffraction pattern does not contain any peaks because amorphous materials does not have periodic array. Thus, it cannot produce a diffraction pattern because a diffraction could not occur without a fixed plane. Hence, the XRD graph do not have any peaks, but just humps. What determines the position and intensity of the peaks in diffraction pattern? In the crystal structure, there are two important characteristics to take note of. First is the interatomic distances where it determines the position of peaks and secondly is the type of atoms and position where it determines the peak intensities. Why X-ray is chosen? This is because the wavelength of X-ray is often the same order of magnitude as the spacing, d between the crystal planes, 1 to 100 angstroms. According to how diffraction works, when the wavelength of the incident wave is smaller than that of the aperture, there will be no noticeable diffraction. But when the other way around, there is a noticeable change in pattern of the wave. In this case, aperture equal to interatomic distance. Thus, Bragg's law is used. Thank you for watching and we hope you learned something from this video today. Bye bye.